Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So just like last week, we're doing a breakdown of all the bloody reveals. Um, this one was a kind of, um, uh, how do I say this? Um, I expected a little bit more, um, but I'm happy with those things that we actually got shown off because I was really excited with some of the animation stuff, which we'll get into in a second. Um, uh, we got some nice stuff with prior and everything like that. Um, but one of the things that um, that did get confirmed right at the end is that um, the stuff that we've been shown so far is only half the stuff that they intended to show off at Adepticon. So um, not next week, the week after, the 18th of April, I think that is, they're actually going to do another preview show showing even more stuff off. I, I, I thought that this was supposed to be like a... Um, at like a two-part show where they basically show everything that was supposed to be at Adepticon in two parts but apparently not apparently they're extending that now and they're breaking up over multiple multiple weeks um so they can just you know just give us content while we're all um, on lockdown with Nurgle's plague um at the moment and um, there was no Primaris bikers um I know like the Primaris biker thing has become type of type of like a meme um episode far now <laughs> it's going like the new Primark meme for me I still have hope that Primaris bikers um, are definitely um, going to be showed off. Um, there was nothing really um, talked about about Ninth Edition, um, which is something I, I really, really want to um, learn more about. Uh, but someone did make the point that when it comes to Ninth Edition or like new editions being announced, um, you normally find that when they they, they do that, like at Warhammer Fest and stuff. And of course, Warhammer Fest was cancelled this year because, of course, Nurgle's stuff. So he's, he, the, the person said maybe it's going to be around that time when uh, they were going to announce it and stuff like that. But anyway, let's jump in and let's look at these um, um, reveals that we've just seen. So it's been in the background now while I've just been waffling on in that little introduction, but um, the first thing I want to talk about, um, and I think the, 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 the kind of the biggest thing for 40k, well, model-wise, let's say, from this reveal, is Psychic Awakening Prior. That has now been confirmed as the next book when it comes to the Psychic Awakening. There's something else that they said on the stream as well, that Deathwatch and Harlequins will be getting their rules in um, uh, White Dwarf magazines that are going to be coming out very, very soon. Now, I, I tried to ask in chat, but I got no response saying, um, uh, is is that all they're getting? Like, are, are they actually getting their rules just in those books, or will they also be featured in the prior book? And um, the information that we have here, actually, from the prior, um, again, the, the models in the background and stuff, it says, the champion of some of the most iconic uh, Warhammer graphic novels ever written. Um, if Ariel Stern is getting a new model of her own, just in time to test her powers against the greatest threats that the Imperium has ever faced, she's not alone. You'll be able to field her alongside the Sisters of Battle or with any Imperium force, and she'll be accompanied by her Harlequin, uh, sorry, Harlequin champion um, Cagniel? I'm sorry, I can't even pronounce that guy's bloody name. Uh, it says here, what's more, we'll be releasing a full recolored issue of the original graphic novel, allowing you to follow Ethereal's Dark Origins, because she's apparently, this character came from something called Demon Forge. I've never read it. It's, it's coming out the a 20, a 20, um, a 20th year edition. Um, sorry, anniversary edition. I'm tripping over my bloody words. Um, that's coming out. So um, I was thinking, is, is, is she coming out like um, an anniversary kind of model for that book or is it part of the prior the actual article itself doesn't really state that much information when it actually comes to the prior stuff it just says uh the next prior um model uh sorry the next prior name book and and that's about it so there's still a lot up in the air i, I really think about prior um necrons death watch harley quinn's and of course, this is the battle are the only races which have yet to get rules when it comes to the Psychic Awakening. I know a lot of people were confused the other day, thinking that um, sisters that had theirs with Faith and Fury, they didn't. Even though that's when like the box set came out and stuff around that time, that wasn't their Psychic Awakening book. So it's got to be it's, it's got to be interesting to see where they go. I really, really do hope that the Death Watch rules and um, uh, the rules that they mentioned in in the White Dwarf magazines are actually in this book as well the last thing i want to be doing is picking up a um uh, a white dwarf magazine just to take it to games for rules because it's 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 just one of those things where it's more and more and more books so hopefully those rules are going to be in this book as well as being in the white dwarf as well so this came as a bit of a surprise to me word bearer models now i have to say 
Um, the Horus Heresy has been getting an incredible amount of love, and hands down to the design team who's doing this. Um, there, was, there was one point where the Horus Heresy wasn't more or less getting anything. It was kind of like, you know, a barren desert, but now it's, you know, it's, we had the line of uh, Johnson model last week, which is incredible. Now these new word bearer models, which, again, are also comparable. So it says, um, spreading the good word. We've had some amazing new releases for the Horus Heresy lately, but not much of the original heretics, the word bearers, because they are the original heretics how bloody dare they what they did i bloody hate the world bearers and uh, one of the first legions to get attention the horror series immense range however while they have some stunning character series models they don't have any models to represent their own arch and uh, uh, male factors until now it says the space marine um, legions each have characters and um, praetors to lead their armies and these sinister fellows are exactly what you expect to see plotting alongside zadu laic or leading the galvor back into battle and i have to say they are absolutely it's stunning models. Like the guy in the, uh, the Terminator armor, I think that's Tartasaurus Terminator armor or Tar Tartarus. I call it Tartasaurus Terminator armor. And uh, another one in this normal style is like the detail, like the etching on the actual armor. Is, of course, what what this is what you expect when you get word uh, word bearers. All this kind of cool stuff. I love that like, the little plasma gun attached to him and um, his power sword. I kind of want that power sword for my like Black Templar. Maybe I have to buy a word bearer um, to get a cool looking uh, sword for my uh, uh, Primaris force. But again. Again, absolutely knocking it out of the park. Love it, love it, love it. I love that the Horus Heresy is getting um, um, so much love. Hopefully, this will carry on. And maybe, just maybe, it may tempt me to go back and actually restart my Imperial Fist Force for the Horus Heresy. But who knows? That is way, way, way down the line. Anyway, on to the next things. And the next big thing is, of course, Angels of Death. We've got a brand new little preview of that. And it looked incredible. I'm not really going to talk about that as much because um, I'm doing a separate video dedicated to that. Um, I actually, um, um, uh, be be before I made this video, I sat down, did a reaction to that, and uh, did a little breakdown of that. That's probably going to be coming out um, a few hours after this video, so watch out on the channel. What I do want to talk about, though, is some of the other stuff that they actually previewed. And this seems that this is... it. it it's something that just came out of nowhere. So uh, they showed off some high detail renders of a next animation project. And it kind of looked like, to me, something on the levels of the Astarte stuff. Now, we all know that the Astarte stuff, part five, just dropped. That is completely mind-blowing. It's like Hollywood-esque, you know, movie action awesomeness completely completely the best thing i've ever seen but these renders that you see in the background now are the closest that i've seen gw themselves official gw stuff getting close to that style of that animation so they're showing off um the sister of battle as you can see she's got like all gore on her face like blood and stuff like that and um, all her hair's full of blood and stuff she's got the nice little tattoo there the scar on her cheek and everything looks absolutely incredible and the the next one is a space marine this was a space marine render they were saying that um this kind of process takes a very very long time to do because the amount of detail that goes into it i'm just going to say that guy kind of looks like uh, chats master Valrak. Right? yes gw if you want to use my image you can use it all uh, you know as much as you bloody want <laughs> just kidding but yeah um i'm really, really looking forward to this this came like like i said just came out of nowhere i wonder what this is going to be are, are they trying to go down that road that a start is has gone down knowing how much um love that got how much attention that got off everyone because i've seen people who are not 40k fans or warhammer fans who didn't even know what warhammer was who came here saying bloody hell what the hell is this sci-fi thing i'm watching it looks absolutely incredible so i'm wondering if if, if that's what they're attempting to go down now and try and hit that peak audience and just you know just bring that next level um to their animation projects whatever it is i'm very very excited i can't wait to see what bloody happens with this because uh, just from those renders it looks like it's got to be the absolute bee's knees and that's really all we have um for the 40k stuff we had some middle earth stuff which was interesting but of course i don't cover that kind of content on my channel there's some a aos stuff which was big for some aos people and um, giants are returning everything like that uh, uh, there's some uh, Blood Bowl stuff as well. Um, all in all, on the 40k front, um, uh, I thought it was decent. Like, any kind of reveal you get for 40k is always going to please me. Um, but I did expect a little bit more, but learning at the end of the show that um, there's going to be even more reveals and they're not even halfway done 
with some of the stuff that they plan to show off for the actual Adepticon event did inspire me and did fill me with a bit more confidence um, that, of course, more glorious 40k stuff is going to be shown. Um, I definitely, definitely, definitely think, I'll say it again, that the Primaris bikers um, uh, uh, I, I are going to be revealed. It's it's definitely going to be coming in, in, in the month of April, maybe sometime. Um, that's what that's what's just going to keep me going. Um, I'd love to get your thoughts, feedback, everything like that, and what, what you like from the reveals, what you didn't like from the reveals, put it all down below and we can have a nice little discussion about it um down there i will be streaming later on tonight and um, doing my little um uh review stream where we all jump on and we discuss this live and stuff like that and we all have um you know a, a nice little time um um talking about it so make sure you check out um that stream tonight and also like as i stated before um I, i'm going to be putting my uh, reaction trailer out um, and breakdown um of the angels of death stuff um very very soon so make sure you watch out for that on the channel as well all right chaps thank you for coming thank you for watching as always and um, hope you've enjoyed this video and um, i'll see you all very very soon and don't forget to comment down below and we'll have a, a nice little talk about it down there see you now and bye bye